Today we are going to be demonstrating the new voicemail notification system for our flash top flashes. Um, one of the common problems is with Sprint phones, Sprint had disabled the native voicemail icon or the voicemail notification. Uh, they do use the visual voicemail instead. Um, unfortunately, flash phones to Cricket and Metro and the rest of them uh, don't use the voicemail or the visual voicemail like Sprint does. So we rely on the voicemail notification to come through. So right now what I'm going to do is go ahead and demonstrate how um, our notification system will work. So I'm going to go ahead and give a call to the phone. I'm going to decline the call and leave a voicemail. So go ahead and call out. Now the purpose of this is to demonstrate that uh, the application works very fluently. Uh, we'll go ahead and clear that notification. We don't need it. Um, it was just to demonstrate right now, I'm, I'm leaving a voicemail, um, exactly how well it works uh, as, long, as well as, as demonstrating that it actually just uses the stock resources. So it uses the stock notification system, it uses the stock icons, it uses the stock LED notification if there is LEDs, etc. Uh, it doesn't add any more resources to the phone. So I went ahead and hung up and you should get a voicemail notification. Uh, so it acts basically exactly as the stock notification would work. Don't know why I'm shaking the camera so bad. Horrible. Anyway, as you can see, my voicemail notifier had just popped up. It's the stock icon. Uh, when I scroll it down, uh, it says you have one new voicemail and to dial our voicemail number. Now, as you can see, the icon is not visible. It is actually there. If I click and hold, like I'm going to call it. So the icon is just white. So on this HTC, particular HTC, they left it as just a white icon instead of doing a gray icon. Um, that's okay though. Our primary thing is, is it states one new voicemail. I'm going to demonstrate um, going ahead and clicking on the voicemail. It will give our voicemail a call. I'll go ahead and play it, delete the voicemail, and show you that the voicemail icon will remove automatically, no additional steps or anything, so it's pretty much just all stock. So, go ahead and delete that voicemail, go ahead and hang up, and as normal, uh, once the phone switches back, it's going to receive that there is no more voicemails and go ahead and clear the voicemail icon. As you can see, it, it went ahead and cleared it. So everything works based off the stock functionality of the phone. If it's meant to have LED notifications, it'll have its LED notifications. If um, you want it to vibrate, notify, etc., everything is done under the stock preferences as well, just settings, call, your voicemail carrier, voicemail settings, you know, and you can clear the voicemail notification if you need to as well. Um, so yeah, basically that's about it. Just going to show real quick um, our running service here, our voicemail notifier. As you can see, it's very light on resources. It's only two megs. Other voicemail notification systems is actually like nine megs to 20 megs. And that's quite a bit of resources for something that just handles voicemail. So again, that's Flash Talks voicemail notifier. Uh, it's working on the HTC Shift that does not have its stock notifications working, and that's it.